We're dead. What? I figured the way you've been acting, somebody must have died on you. Sorry. Listen, Luke. If it's Matt that's worrying you, don't. I'll see that he doesn't ruin your plans. What do you mean? Well, he's the one who was supposed to take over when you stopped riding. I guess you're looking forward to that, huh? Sometimes. It's a big change. I'm gonna miss working with all of you. Uh, you probably see more of us than you did before. Particularly around supper time. Better wait till you try my cooking before you make any promises. <laughs> probably chase y'all away. <laughs> You're doing the right thing, Lou. You think? Yeah, and I also think that the kid is a lucky man. Thanks. Sometimes it's hard to be sure about all this. Yeah, you two love each other, right? That's all that matters. Who knows, maybe, maybe someday I'll get lucky too. moment he rode in. First thing he asked him, where he could have a good time. Anybody see where he went? All I know is he got in a fight in the saloon. Then he headed north. No, well, Fenton's the next town Matt must have reached. Maybe he's still there. You're on your own from here, Jimmy. I'll see you back in Rock Creek. All right, I'll see you, Lou. Anybody with a snakeskin hat Well, mister. why don't you just sit and talk to me for a mister, second? I'm sorry, I'm awful busy. I, I just ain't seen him. I'm real sorry, mister. I just ain't seen him. Excuse me, ladies. Ladies, pardon me. Uh, you looking for a friend? He, uh, he's got blonde hair. He just came into town a couple no, of days no. ago. He's got a snakeskin, uh... No! He's got a snakeskin hat Warned you before, Red. This town ain't big enough for the both of us. My trusty six shooter is going to do my talking from now on. Emmett, I told you not to read this trash while you're working. Don't be calling it trash. Them's true stories, every one of them. They're nothing but hot air. I'm not paying you to daydream. Uh, excuse me. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Uh, not at all. I'm uh, Mayor Cochran. Uh, what can I do for you? Well, you see, I'm looking for a friend. He, he rides an Appaloosa, has a snakeskin hat band. Thought you might have seen him. Sorry, I haven't seen anybody like that. How about you? Well, let me think. No, I ain't seen anyone like that come through here. Uh, matter of fact, uh, we don't get many strangers here. Uh, I'm sure everybody would notice if he'd been here. Oh, yeah, you'd know if Matt was in town. All right. You know, I'd like to feed my horse before I, I move on. Can you tell me where the livery stable is? I'll show you. I'm sure the gentleman can find his own way, Emmett. Well, I'm going that direction. 
You're like them, ain't you? Like who? Big Red Fuller, Wild Bill Hickok, Dead Eye Jackson. You know, gunfighters. No, I ain't never heard of them. What happened over there? Mine played itself out a few years back. So how come you stay? Audrey's here. Hey, that's a pretty fancy rig you carry. <sighs> Look, pal. Ride for the Pony Express, that's it. And we got a station over there in Seneca, and the only reason I'm here is... The saddle right there. It's a fine piece of workmanship. You won't find many like that. How'd you get it? Some cowboy sold it to me. When? <clears throat> uh, couple months back? You're lying. Matt was just here. He, he wouldn't sell that saddle. He needed the money. You tell me what happened. It wasn't my fault, mister. It weren't like he had use for it no more. What are you saying? Well, he didn't. I mean... Your friend never left. look kind of nice. Like you two were made for each other. Every bride should have a wedding dress like this. Once I get the measurements, I can have the dress ready for a final fit in the same day. Oh, I I'm not quite sure. Or I could make one up special for you, like I'm doing for another young lady. Oh, that's nice, too. I can design it just for you. I've got lots of fabrics to choose from. Miss? Louise? When's the wedding? A couple weeks. That's exciting. Your life's gonna be so different. You don't know the half of it. Oh, there'll be someone to love and care for. You'll spend all your time making your home perfect, cooking for your husband. Is that all there is? Oh, no. There'll be tea in the afternoons with the other wives and, of course, someday, little ones. Feel this. Uh... Uh... I don't think any of these are quite right. Oh, well, I have some others I can... No, I gotta go. Sorry. get in the way of a gunfighter when he gets that look in his eye. I told you I ain't no gunfighter. You sure look like one. See, I've been reading about him in this book here. You got matched coats just like Blackie Diamond wears. Let me tell you something. You see this? This ain't real. It's a bunch of lies somebody wrote. Lies? Just like what I've been getting from everybody else in town, and I'm sick of it. You're gonna tell me who killed my friend. Tell me! No one here did. Honest. No, I just saw his body. <laughs> 